I think I'm live. I hope I am. Welcome to my world. Come on in. It's Thursdays, heart and soul. And I'm excited to be here tonight. I have made it through the day. And I, I, I am doing this for the rest of my life somewhere. YouTube or these other different things called channels, I guess. But it's because I need a balance and I went, when I had my son with me, I just had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It was wonderful. And when I became a caretaker, it was so easy because we had our habits and routines and our Monday through Sundays. And my name is Colleen Liz Frost, and I am so excited to be here. I'm an author. I've written a book, and soon we'll be moving over to a page that I've created just for you but I'm practicing with you because you're my friends on the Facebook. So I thought maybe I can hide out here before I go there. So thank you for letting me join um, you tonight. And today is Thursday, my heart and soul day, so that we can pick one day a week where we can just get to the center. And that's what I like to do tonight. Um, I don't know if you remember my dust story, but um, they came today and if you've ever had dust cleaners, that come with great big semis. They came with semis in tubes that went around our block, all came into our home. And my dad, thank goodness we get up early, about four to eight, I have my dad all to myself in a peaceful state, listening to Alan Jackson, then we segue into Conway, then over to a little Charlie Pride before eight. Today we had Pete, his, he's, his, he has a Pete for rehab, and by the time this semi pulled up, it's usually nap time. And for the next six hours, it was a motor like you've never seen. And they blew dust out of every orifice of this house. And you know, I, I have to tell you that it's because I've lost my mother I, almost a year ago now. And I think that this is my way to handle loss. I am just going to keep her house just the way she did. So as we approach... Um, rising from Lent and and whatever religion you are if you have none this is my digital home for my grandkids and our culture is to have a faith and our faith was practiced in our home and today I want to share with you how I went from having complete uh, unbelievable day with this motor with these motors and my dad going into orbit and after, after everyone left and the dust had settled and every, the comp, the, my puzzle time people left, my help left, Dad and I sat there and looked at each other like, what just happened? And we ended up having the best night. And he looks at me, he sees, he sees that I'm completely, <laughs> it was a day. I said, Dad, I have bowling tomorrow. And he says, honey girl, it's time for the sauna. And oh, I, I don't know, those of you who have never taken a sauna, I'm sorry. But it is our culture. I grew up with the Finnish people in New York Mills, and my mother was uh, grew up uh, on an Indian reservation right on top of it. And it was the culture there to have um, extreme heat saunas. So that's what I did. I took a hot sauna and... Um, I'm refreshed, so I will have my game on tomorrow, and I hope you can join me at the Perm Cactus for my first Yaya Bowling League. It starts at 6, ends at 7, it's one lane, it's $10 a person, and you pay them and bring your own ball, because I have mine. But thank you. So with this Thursday, heart and soul, I want you to know that we all need a day to just find that center and find a place where you can find peace. And that's what I want to promote on my, on my digital home is the seven days of balance. So that brings me to why I, why I say love more. My mother did not believe in nicknames, but she said um, her mother called her honey girl and her mother's mother called her mother honey girl. So I was never allowed to call it other people nicknames and um, but she was always able to call me honey girl. 
She also said that when they said goodbye, they said, I love you more. And I said to her, these last four years, I wanted to have her describe every word to me again. And she says, honey girl, it's a lot like, um, you will know when somebody loves you more because you'll get up the next day and you'll work really hard to love them more. And if they are coming back and loving you more, then they'll be working that whole day to love you more. And then it's back and forth, and that's just how my parents were. All day long, mother had a whistle in her step for when dad came home. And then dad also repeated back and forth. So that's why it's always love more. So I told my son that I hope he finds somebody that learns to love him more. And it, we took a long time. So how do we teach each other this concept of loving more? Well, it boils down to caretaking. Um, for those of you who have taken care of babies, I think you do a good job and it's, it's a gift. For those of you who have taken care of young animals, it's the same thing. Check the bottom, feed the top. And so caretaking is very easy. It's not a struggle at all because you have one secret. If you love more, you get so much more back. And so I, leave, I want to leave you with um, teach it, preach it, and repeat it. To love more, you have to just keep loving, keep loving. And it took me a while to learn this, especially when they hit the teenage years. I would tear over to mothers and I would say, what is this? I was lucky enough because when my son did move to Minneapolis, my mother was with me. And she held me up and loved me more while I was struggling with that loss of my son moving away. And so I was very lucky and I got picked to caretake. And as I was busy giving her all my love and dad all my love, she was really loving me back. So for this Easter, I hope when you are able to take care and serve others, I hope that you see it as a way for you to love more. And then you better sit back, take your sauna and wait for it to come to back tenfold because it will. And that's what I'm hoping with my seven days. I hope that I will work as hard for my grandkids with this videotaping that they'll be able to see a vibrant grandmother and my son will be able to hear some of our memories, but also so I can find out what's happening next. Um, I am in development and you're along for the way, uh, you're along with me on the way. And I am hoping that if you're Dust has settled tonight that you find a restful sleep, and I hope tomorrow you come to the cactus. So with that, my main purpose with what I'm doing, I'm standing tonight. I'm standing tall, but my main purpose is to help you find a way to celebrate history and create more. So at your Easter table and at your Easter services, just think, you're creating history, and there's many people that won't be together this year. So reach out and find ways to communicate with those you love. I know I'm sure going to work hard at it. And for those of us who are taking the whole year to mourn so we can figure out how to live without our people, we're going to find new ways, and we're going to make it be a part with us, um, have them with us somehow and in some way in our hearts. And we're going to remember how she taught us and how she preached us and how she repeated her lessons and how darn important dust cleaning is. But you have to get to the root of it and love more. So I did. And you will fall in love with history. And I promise you, it will help you to become a preservationist. So thank you. And remember me and like, share, and I'll see you there.